A mod contract decision could reveal Manchester United plans for three more players. Man United have competition for places on the wing, and a player who looked likely to leave in April could now be in the team at the start of the season. There were 886 days between Ahmad's third and fourth starts for Manchester United, but three months after his Old Trafford career looked to be petering out, he could be about to secure one of the few places up for grabs in the starting Efin at the start of this season. If Alejandro Garnacho and Rasmus Hojlund have two of the front three roles locked down come the start of competitive action, then the third is up for grabs. On the evidence of this summer, it is Ahmad who must be in prime position at the moment to complete that triumvirate. Jaden Sancho's return from exile has put his name into the equation, but this always looked to be a battle between Ahmad, Antony, and Marcus Rashford. Despite being back at Carrington for the last two weeks, Antony is yet to kick a ball in a friendly, while Rashford had a mundane opening against Rosenborg and then missed the trip to Edinburgh. Saturday's game was Ahmad's first of the summer, and the Rangers' support inside Murrayfield would have been perplexed at seeing the 22-year-old tear them apart in the first half. He looked like a young boy out of his depth in a six-month loan spell at Ibrox in 2022, but has suddenly found some momentum and confidence to resurrect his United career. The right winger was bright in starting the final three Premier League games of last season and was excellent on Saturday, causing no end of problems and taking his goal well. He should have had an assist as well in creating good chances for Ethan Wheatley and Sancho. Ten Hag praised Ahmad's versatility post-match and he did well for Sunderland as a false nine and number ten, so he offers flexibility. But the spot on the right is available at Old Trafford, after Antony lost the support of his manager towards the end of last season. As you say, he made a very good progression last season, Ten Hag said of Ahmad at the weekend. The past two seasons he was on loan and then he was planned to play a role, but he had a very bad injury in preseason that dropped him a little bit back. But in the last games of the season he showed his assets. This season has to become his season. That suggests his future is now guaranteed when it looked anything but back in April. Then he appeared a prime candidate to be sold, that £37 million fee paid to Atalanta in 2020 looking ever more perplexing. Now the decision to be made is over how much faith the club show in him. He has a year remaining on the contract he signed when moving to the club, while United also have the option to extend it by another year. Ineos have so far been reluctant to make calls on new contracts, and Ahmad's situation is only likely to be reviewed towards the end of the window, or even after it is closed. If he continues to dazzle in preseason, then a new long-term deal must surely be considered. That could spell bad news for at least one of Sancho, Antony, or Rashford. Ten Hag has demanded depth to his squad this season, but five senior wingers, as well as two central attacking options in Hodgland and Joshua Xerxy, looks excessive. It's also the case that Antony and Rashford have something to prove. The Brazilian has never looked like justifying his 85 made or price tag, and his second season at the club was a disaster. United would consider cutting their losses, but interest in him is unlikely after last season. Rashford also had a disappointing campaign, going from 30 goals in 2022 to 23 to just eight, amid a couple of off-pitch issues that attracted the wrath of Ten Hag. There is no expectation he will leave the club, but his future is far from secure, and another below-par season could become an issue, especially as the five-year deal he signed a year ago makes him one of the club's highest earners. That salary looked unjustified last season, and in the wake of that renewal, you can understand the caution that now exists around contracts. Ahmad is one of several that will come under the microscope once this window comes to an end, but right now he looks like he is worth investing in. Manchester United's decision regarding Ahmad's contract was poised to have significant implications, potentially shedding light on the club's broader strategy for several players. Ahmad Diallo, the talented young winger from the Ivory Coast, had shown flashes of his potential since joining United. His performances and development were closely monitored by the coaching staff and management. 
The decision to either extend his contract or explore other options could signal how United intended to approach their squad planning and recruitment moving forward. Firstly, if United chose to extend Ahmad's contract, it would likely indicate a commitment to nurturing young talent within the club. Meanwhile, in other news, Manchester United want to sign 16-year-old Cheeto Obi Martin. The teenager prodigy who fired 10 past Liverpool's youth team last year and has declined a new Arsenal deal. Arsenal's Cheeto Obi Martin is firmly on Manchester United's radar after the teenage prodigy declined a new contract with the Gunners. Obi Martin, who is Danish but has lived and played in England previously, is best known for netting a whopping 10 goals against Liverpool's youth team last year. The Athletic have reported that Obi Martin is ready to leave Arsenal. Despite being offered a new contract the Premier League runners-up thought was fair. The 16-year-old will be able to leave the Gunners come his 17th birthday on November 29th, and it appears that the Red Devils are set to pounce on the opportunity to sign the gifted youngster immediately. Man United are said to be exploring a deal for the Wonder Kid, which would place the 6 if 2 in Danish center forward at the sharp end of United's youth setup and potentially in the mind of first-team coach Eric Ten Hag, should he impress. Obi Martin ended the season scoring 32 goals in the under-18 Premier League last season, eclipsing the single-season record held by Fowler and Belogan. He went on multiple remarkable scoring run for the Gunners' youth outfit, trained by former Academy product Jack Wilshire in the 22-23-24 campaign, netting 10 times in a 14-3 win against Liverpool and 7 times in a 9-0 win against Norwich. The forward's startling display in the Norwich thrashing included a 17-minute hat trick, which came only two weeks after he had scored five in a win against West Ham. Obi Martin watched fellow Arsenal Academy player Ethan Nwaneri become the youngest ever Premier League player when he was handed his debut last season in a 3-0 win against Brentford at the age of 15 years, 5 months and 28 days. The 16-year-old has already featured for the youth sides of both Denmark, his country of birth, and England in 2023. He is also eligible to represent Nigeria through his father. The forward currently plays for Denmark though it is understood that the teenager can still switch allegiance back to England before her turns 18 if he wishes to. Manchester United have set their sights on Cheeto Obi Martin, the 16-year-old prodigy whose dazzling performance against Liverpool's youth team left a lasting impression. The Red Devils, renowned for their keen eye on emerging talent, are eager to secure the promising striker's signature amid growing interest from top clubs. Obi Martin's meteoric rise, highlighted by his incredible 10-goal haul against Liverpool's youth team, has catapulted him into the spotlight of European football. His decision to turn down a new deal with Arsenal has sparked a bidding war among elite clubs, with Manchester United emerging as frontrunners in the race for his services. United's pursuit of Obi Martin reflects their commitment to nurturing young talent and building for the future. The club's renowned academy system, coupled with their track record of developing world-class players, presents an enticing opportunity for the young striker to continue his development at a prestigious club known for its rich footballing tradition. For Obi Martin, a potential move to Manchester United represents a significant career opportunity to further hone his skills under top-tier coaching and competitive environments. The Red Devils' interest underscores their belief in his potential to make a lasting impact on the footballing stage. As negotiations progress, Manchester United's pursuit of Cheeto Obi Martin promises to be a captivating storyline in the footballing world, showcasing the club's ambition to secure top young talent and reinforce their future aspirations. Manchester United's interest in Cheeto Obi Martin has intensified following the teenage prodigy's decision to decline a new contract offer from Arsenal. The talented striker, who has captured attention with his impressive performances and goal-scoring prowess, now finds himself at the center of a transfer tug-of-war between two English giants. Obi Martin's emergence as a sought-after prospect stems from his remarkable ability and potential to become a future star in football. His refusal to commit to Arsenal has opened the door for Manchester United, 
a club renowned for nurturing young talent and providing a pathway to the highest levels of the game. United's pursuit of Obi Martin underscores their commitment to strengthening their youth ranks and securing promising talents for the future. The club's academy system, coupled with their emphasis on player development and competitive opportunities, presents an appealing proposition for the young striker. For Obi Martin, the prospect of joining Manchester United represents a significant career opportunity to continue his development under top-tier coaching and within a club with a rich history of success.